It's Dayton Bronco, Friday Night Football, Game 9, C.E. King versus Dayton. Produced by Tubes Graphics. Tubes Graphics, always believe. C. King gets the ball and learns the Dayton defensive dance steps. One, two. Three. And kick. Dayton gets the ball and drives down the field, but faces fourth and four from about the six yard line. Xavier Baldwin gets the ball and is stopped short of the first down. C.E. King takes over. Unfortunately for C.E. King, the Dayton defensive dance steps continue. One. Two. Three. Kick. Dayton gets the ball and drives down the field. Andreas goes back for a pass. No one's open, so he takes off and runs down to the four yard line. Two plays later on third down, Andreas goes back and connects with Jamal Fowler for a Bronco touchdown. On the last play of the first quarter, Dayton scores and takes a 7-0 lead. On C. King's next possession, they drive down the field, get two first downs, but on a pass, it's intercepted by the Broncos. Dayton takes over the ball about the five yard line and drives down to around the 40 when they face a fourth and 10. Andreas takes the snap, goes back, no one's open, so he takes off. But C. King surrounds him and stops him short of the first down. C. King takes over, but on the first play, disaster strikes. <laughs> Dayton recovers the fumble and takes over the ball. Unable to get a first down, the Broncos send out freshman kicker Juan Caraco, who kicks the field goal. Dayton goes up 10-0. The first half ends with the score of Dayton 10, C.E. King 0. Dayton gets the ball and on a time consuming drive, they march down the field. When Jabal Fowler gets to the outside and crosses the goal line, Dayton scores and goes up 16 to zero. On the point after attempt, the snap is bobbled. Moises takes the ball and tries to get into the goal line, but is stopped short. The score is 16, zero with six minutes left in the third quarter. C. King gets the ball and on third down, the quarterback throws a lateral, but it's dropped. Dayton recovers. First down, Broncos. On the very next play, Dayton fumbles and E. King recovers. After three plays, C. E. King is forced to butt with the snaps bobbled. Enel Hines picks up the ball and races in for a touchdown. Dayton scores again. This time on the PAT, the Broncos convert the score. Broncos 23, Panthers 0. Dayton stops C.E. King on three plays. They take the punt and race down the field. This pass to the one yard line sets up the next play. On first and goal, Peyton gets the ball, goes outside, then cuts back in, crosses the goal line. Dayton scores three times in the third quarter and goes up 29 to zero. The point after attempt ends the third quarter with the score, Dayton 30, C.E. King zero. After the touchdown, Dayton kicks off to C.E. King. Hey, number 14, watch out. You're about to be 
stampeded by Bronco. Peyton Plow lays the wood to see Kings number 14. C.E. King continues the Dayton defensive dance steps. One. Two. And three. And kick. the ball back and gives the ball to B.J. Young who runs wild on the Panthers. Number 14 doesn't learn his lesson. Are you sure you want to make that tackle? You're about to be stampeded by Bronco. Number 14 gets uplifted and struck by B.J. Young. I hope 14's got some ibuprofen. The Broncos continue to give the ball to the hot hand of B.J. Young, who races down the field and steadily moves the Broncos into scoring position. After Dayton converts on a fourth down play, Andreas takes the ball, fakes the pitch, and races across the goal line. The Broncos score again. Caranco connects on the PAT, putting the score at Dayton 37, C.E. King 0. With little, if any, success on the ground, C.E. King goes airborne, but the ball is intercepted by the Broncos. After a Dayton putt, C. King gets the ball and goes back for a pass when it's intercepted again by the Broncos. After the interception, Dayton enters into victory formation and runs out the clock. Dayton wins their last game in District 19-4A with a huge shutout, winning 37-0 over the C.E. King Panthers. Dayton finishes the season at 7-2 and sets its eyes on another Region 3 championship trophy. Standings has Crosby at 7 0, Dayton 6 1, Moose Creek Memorial 5 2, and Barbara Shield at 4 3. Those teams represent 19 4A in the playoffs. Dayton Bronco Friday Night Lights 2009, produced by Tubes Graphics. Tubes Graphics. Always believe. Tubes Graphics and the Dayton Broncos, a believing combination. <laughs>